Hey guys, so this is gonna be a really quick one, but I figured it was probably, you know, something helpful to share, especially, um, you know, these days. So, you know, the past couple times I've gone to the store, which hasn't been recently, um, we've been, you know, pretty, pretty sheltered, but uh, when I did go, uh, the meat section was pretty picked over. Um, and what I was finding was that there was a lot of uh, odd cuts, things people don't really know how to use. Uh, left on the shelf, so I figured I would go through one very delicious one that I think um, might benefit you guys if you're at the store and you're looking for a protein and there's just not much less. Um, if you happen to see pork belly, uh, sh uh, Stop and Shop usually always has it, that's where I shop. Um, sometimes it's one of my regular stops. And uh, you know, I pork belly is generally kind of there, people don't really usually um, Go for that first in my experience so what i'm going to teach you today is how to cure this so you know if you go to the store and there's no bacon or you're left with only this and you're not sure what to do with it uh curing it is a good place to start so what does that mean essentially we're going to pack it in a fortified salt for at least 24 to 48 hours to allow uh, moisture to be drawn out of the meat. What that's gonna do is gonna extend its shelf life and it's also gonna um, infuse a ton of flavor into the protein itself. So it's really easy to do. Um, there are better methods than probably this. This is definitely a quick and dirty home method, but um, you know, if you're trying just to make the best with something you're not familiar with, uh, curing could be a good place to start. So. What I'm going to do in this um, small loaf pan, I'm going to put a layer of salt. A good layer, you know, like... So the bottom is, you know, looks white, essentially. Um, to that, probably four teaspoons, or tablespoons, rather. To that, I found some herbs in the uh, in the fridge. You can use whatever you have. Uh, you can even use a dried seasoning mix if, you, if that's all you had. Um, and I also have some blood orange. Um, so any kind of citrus zest, lemon zest, orange zest. Lime might be a little weird. Um, depends, maybe if you want to go lime and then fry this up and you do it with like garlic and cilantro, that could be super great actually with a little lime juice. There you go, you got little carn you got little uh, chicharrones, tacos kind of thing. So, um, you know, whatever. So, all right, orange zest. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place this pork belly um, just right on top of this. So one side is just gonna go straight, um, you know, kind of mush it around, make sure that there's salt on the bottom, um, on the entire bottom. But also you're kind of getting the, the thyme and the, the orange zest, um, you know, mushed up to the bottom. So uh, I'm gonna wash my hands before I go back into the salt. So I'll be right back. I'm back. All right, so we're gonna take the salt and do a bit more, not a bit, quite a bit more on top. Um, you are gonna rinse this. You know, you're not gonna wash it clean, but you are gonna rinse this when the uh, the time is up. So it might look like a ton of salt now. You'll be fine, don't worry. So the last bit of time, just kind of get that on top of the meat. Warm zest. Gotta make my own sound effects, right? <laughs> I'll do that in the editing process. <laughs> All right, so we have everything on this pork. There we go, there's a better view. You can see, you know, this is very seasoned. So uh, what I'm gonna do, is wrap this in plastic, put it in the fridge, um, put it somewhere level because liquid is gonna leach out of this. Uh, so you don't want it somewhere where it can, you know, drip. That'd be gross. Um, give it at least 24 hours. If you got 48, that's even better. Um, so we'll be back uh, in 24 hours. Um, unfortunately, I don't have 48 hours for this, but it'll still be delicious. Um, and we'll see you then. So 24 hours later, um, the pork belly has cured. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like now because um, I did mention that there's gonna be some liquid that comes out. I wanna show you actually how much that is because it's not a small amount. Um, and just so you don't freak out at home when you're doing this, uh, I want you to see what is normal. So, all right, one second, we're gonna change the view and then we'll get the uh, pork belly rinse and then into a pan, all right? 
Here's the pork belly after 24 hours. You can see, you don't see the salt anymore really too much. But what we do see is a ton of liquid. So that liquid was pulled out of the, uh, of the protein by the salt mixture. So you can see the orange zest, uh, the thyme on top. So that's just gonna lend a lot of flavor. We're gonna get this rinsed off and in a very low pan, um, you know, low, just hedging on medium low, we're gonna put these in and let them really slowly start to render. This cooking takes a bit of time, but it's totally worth it. So, all right, into the pan. In a very, very low pan, um, like I said, low, medium, low. Um, get these uh, in and just really, uh, that actually sounds a little too hot. So I'm gonna turn it all the way down. Um, and actually I might just hold off of the heat for a moment. I was preheating my pan. This might be one of the only times when that might not be a good idea. You might wanna put them in cold um, and then slowly heat the pan up with the meat inside because what you don't want is you don't want to sear the meat before the fat renders because you want the fat to come out kind of before the meat makes its final nice sear. So um, I'm going to let this cool a bit, get it back onto the low flame. Honestly, it's going to take probably about, this might take about 30, 40 minutes to really cook down. Pork belly is one of those things that has to cook down, otherwise it will be chewy um, and it won't be good. So. Um, you know, this is just kind of a labor of love, but it's totally, totally worth it. So, um, my pan sounds a little less crazy hot, so back onto the low flame. Um, I'm just gonna kind of ignore this for 10 minutes, come over, look and see what it's doing, maybe give it a turn, maybe not, um, but I'll take pictures throughout so I can kind of show you the steps of where you wanna start moving the meat around. So, all right, well, uh, we're gonna be here for a minute, but, uh, it's totally worth it, and I'm sure you'll enjoy this. So you can see we just flipped the uh, pork belly. This is gonna end up getting flipped a couple times. Um, this side is starting to release some of the fat, so we flip this to the other side. You can see all the fat in the pan. All of that came from these two pieces of pork belly. So um, there's still a lot of fat that needs to be rendered, but this is where we're at so far. I mean, come on. How can you say no to that? So. I was actually completely distracted in the last bit of filming this and forgot to take photos throughout. So I got another piece out and started to render. So here you can see it's a little bit further than before. And then here you can see it's even a little bit further yet. You really want to take it this far before you let it cool. We're not done cooking it, but we have to let it cool down before we do our finishing steps. When it's time to enjoy the pork belly, I'll cook it one last time basically finalizing the cook. This will crisp the outside, get the inside fully hot, and make it super, super tender. You could do this in a fryer, if you have one of those like countertop ones. I just did mine in a pan, a little bit of oil over medium heat, and just got it nice and crispy and heated through. And here we go. I mean, doesn't that look delicious? It's tender, it's crispy, it's salty, it's meaty. It's just one of those perfect, perfect proteins. Um, that really can be the star of a dish. It can be an addition. Trust me, most things get better with a little bit of pork belly. I mean, next time you make mac and cheese, throw some of this in there, you're gonna have something incredible. So now you know how to make it. Definitely give it a try. Add it to, you know, really anything and just be creative. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the links above. Please stay safe and healthy and home during this time. And we'll see you soon.